attended to by her group of workers, uh, this portion of the colony. That is their job to feed her, to tend to the eggs that she lays, and uh, keep her safe. So this is a common scene that you'll see in a fairly uh, small colony and even bigger colonies where you'll have a group of workers surrounding her. Nearby, you would see her group of eggs. We'll see them later in this video. Uh, they're very small, shiny, look like very small pearls. This is the first video in a series I would like to do about what to expect for your ant colonies. This is a small second year Laceus colony. This is an unidentified species here in Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, probably very, very similar in behavior and feeding habits and growth rate as many other Laceus species um, that, that you're going to commonly see. So I'm just going to kind of talk about them as, as, as if they're all the same. Um, so this, this colony here is the second year. You can see that they were really in full swing already for this uh, growth season. They have pupae, tons of larvae, and the queen, as you saw in the beginning of the video, she is in egg production mode, and she's got lots of workers around her tending to her, ready to take the eggs that she lays uh, away from her and put them somewhere safe or somewhere that the colony deems better for those eggs. They all have uh, the eggs, pupae, and larvae all in different piles, it seems, some of them closer to each other. But the uh, larvae are a little bit farther away, typically. Some of them are mixed in. Um, you can see at the bottom right of this screen, magically moving sand. Uh, <laughs> that's not a monster under there. That's actually a larvae that is pupating. And you'll see this quite commonly. That's why we use the habitats that we use in a lot of instances with uh, loose sand. Um, so ants like this, Laceus uh, formica, Campanotus genuses, that uh, really need that to help their their larvae pupate, can use loose sand. There you see a big pile of larvae way, way back on top of the water tower. Uh, they're all together. Um, they're segregating the larvae, pupae, and eggs to where they think that they're most comfortable. And uh, you'll see later in the video the larvae feeding on um, some fruit flies. So that's another reason they do it, um, to make things easier as far as maintenance goes. Here the Laceus uh, workers are congregating around the water source. This is where they drink their water from right now. So, um, you know, you, you can expect to see this quite frequently, especially during the growth season. Uh, when the colony is not in really full swing of growth and they're more like a diapause state or a resting state, uh, there's not as many larvae to feed, you won't see as much activity as far as feeding goes. Here we're going to feed them some fruit flies. This is uh, one of the first times I fed this colony fruit flies. I was doing mainly mealworms and crickets before. But I realized that they are such good hunters that they can actually hunt a live fruit fly. I didn't do that in this video, but uh, just accidentally one of the fruit flies was not uh, completely stunned and dead. Uh, and and one, I witnessed one of the workers actually taking it live down below. <clears throat> so here you see I've put the dish in with the fruit flies. It doesn't take very long. The worker goes down below. And within a minute or two, um, you'll see a lot of workers kind of uh, erupting from the colony, ready to take care of the food and bring it back to the larvae. Yeah, you can expect to see this scene from uh, Lacey's colonies. I would, I would guarantee you they're one of the most active feeders I have. They're very quick to respond to food put inside the habitat, and they take in enormous amounts of food for what you look at. They're small, tiny bodies, but wow, they, they really do take in a lot of food inside those, those bodies, and they'll bring them back in inside the nest, and you can see a lot of activity going on, a lot of trophallaxis feeding of the larvae. Um, 
This is just a little time lapse portion to show you. Uh, it took a couple minutes for them to get all those flies down. And then you can expect to see just a ton of activity. This is a great time to do videos, a great time to pull out your camera and practice your skills because there's so much different uh, things going on right now with the ants feeding themselves and here you see them starting to feed the larvae. The larvae have those little tiny mouths and the workers will bring the the fruit flies, the dead fruit flies right near the larvae and the larvae will use their mouths to actually eat you know, portions of those fruit flies. <music>